Yo, what's up? Prince Sports here. Now, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. Now, I want to talk about Magic Johnson and LeBron James. Okay, um, people want to. Some people want to know why is LeBron James ranked above Magic Johnson, or is Magic Johnson ahead of LeBron James? Some people think Magic Johnson is actually better. Um, this go. I'm gonna go a little quick breakdown of each player and their accomplishments, and to why I think what player is better than the, than the other player. Okay, so let's that let's look at it like this. I'm going to do some quick breakdowns before we do some other stuff. All right. They both been to the playoffs 13 times. That's, that's comparable, even now. Magic Johnson has three MVPs. LeBron James has four. That's not too far off, okay? They're almost evenly at that, okay? Magic Johnson has three finals MVPs out of five championships. LeBron James has three finals MVPs out of three championships that he's won, okay? And out of those three finals MVPs, Magic Johnson got it while playing. He got all his championships while playing with Kareem. So that means he had to stop Kareem out for finals MVPs, uh, out of finals MVPs a couple of seasons, which is not easy to do. This is something Kobe should have done. It would have helped his case more in a ranking if he was able to out outdo Shaq as the number one, but he couldn't do it. Um, but Magic outdid Kareem as for the number one certain times, so which is a good thing. First team, LeBron James 12, Magic Johnson 9. Now, you could make a case that Magic Johnson would have been more if he played longer, but you can't make that excuse. Your time that you played is the time that you played. It's as simple as that. Okay, we don't do no what ifs. All right? Now, Here's a glaring difference. Magic Johnson, zero times, first team all defense. LeBron James, five times, first team all defense. Rookie of the year, LeBron James was one. You know, he's won that award. Magic Johnson has not won that award, surprisingly, right? But box, LeBron James, um, 0 0.8. Magic Johnson, 0 0.4. So LeBron James is a better blocker. He's a... A lot of this is because of the chase down blocks, and he's a better blocker. He's a better shot blocker than Magic Johnson. Okay, now scoring, uh, Magic Johnson averaged about 19 points a game. LeBron James around 27, 25, you know, on average, but usually 27 points a game. So LeBron James is a much better scorer than Magic Johnson. He's also better at getting to the basket. He has more ways of scoring the basketball than Magic Johnson. All right, um, they both shot over 50 percent from the field. So they've both been extremely efficient um, basketball players when it comes to scoring. But now, here's the things that Magic Johnson does have over LeBron James. Magic Johnson is, has a better IQ, has a better basketball IQ, and he's a better playmaker, okay? He's a better passer than Magic, uh, better than the, a better passer than LeBron James. LeBron James is a good basketball passer, okay? He could pass the ball, okay? But... The problem with LeBron's um, assist or passing the ball sometimes is he's just feeding the ball to guys that's um, wide open. Um, it's not uh, wide open three-point shooters. A lot of assists came at just passing the ball to some guy that's, you know, known for shooting the three ball because he's he been his role's been reduced to just being a spot-up three-point shooter, okay? Magic Johnson actually ran plays and um, made a lot of guys around him better, make scoring the ball a little better for his teammates than LeBron. Not saying LeBron doesn't make some of his role plays good, but Le Magic Johnson has done it at a higher level than LeBron James. LeBron James is a great basketball player when it comes to passing the ball, though. But Magic Johnson, I'm going to give the edge to. Okay? So those are two things that stand out. But now, here's the difference. Now, you often hear me say, Michael Jordan's a better two-way basketball player than LeBron James. And at the end of the day, basketball broken down into its simplest form is offense to defense, vice versa, okay? You run up and down the court, the two biggest um, functions, the two biggest factors to factor into winning is playing defense and scoring. Offense wins you games, defense wins you championships. You pit both of them together, you get winning, you get championships. Simple as that, okay? It's very easy. Now, LeBron James is better defensive player 
and a better offensive player than Magic Johnson. You know, um, not just in these stats that we're looking at. Um, one-on-one defender, um, LeBron James is a better one-on-one defender. He's also better off the ball, you know, even when chased down blocks, better shot blocker. So he's better on the defensive end, you know, especially in his prime. You know, that's I guess where the athletic ability comes from. You know, but Magic Johnson was born to playmate, great playmaker. Um, now, one of the main reasons why LeBron James, I think, ultimately will probably equal or probably get one more championship at the most. I think he'll at least win one more and he'll bring a championship to the Lakers. Um, he has to do it in a quick amount of time because if Kawhi Leonard wins a championship this year, it's going to be um, another accomplishment LeBron James misses out on. First player, first superstar to have um, three championships by three different franchises and being finals MVP, number one option, all that other good stuff. So LeBron James has to catch up with that. But I'm going to give the edge to LeBron James as better than Magic Johnson. But it's by, it's by a, a hair clip, okay? It's by a nose hair, okay? Um, you could make a case if Magic Johnson was playing today, he'd be a better offensive player. But you can't do that because he's not, he wasn't a great offensive-minded player in his own prime. It's not something that he was looking to do. So you can't just upgrade him and say that he'll be doing that in today's era, even if the rules are catered to being an offensive, uh, catered to offensive basketball players, okay? So we're not going to do that. We're not going to use a cheat code for that. So we're just going to sit there and say it is what it is. LeBron's a better two-way basketball player than Magic Johnson, but you can make a case Magic Johnson is um, better all around, you know, um, now, they're both capable of triple doubles. Magic Johnson um, has more triple doubles in his career do, than LeBron James. Now, I think LeBron James would have tucked that nod of better all-around player if he could average a triple double for a whole season. But Westbrook beat him, beat him to that punch. Not saying Westbrook's a better all-around player than Magic Johnson, but if that went to LeBron with the numbers and the stats that he already has, you could make that case that he's a better all-around basketball player than Magic Johnson. That's what I'm saying. So, um, Magic Johnson, his ability to get a triple-double and his playmaking, I think, came a little more easier. Um, it looks like he did it a little more easier fashion than LeBron James. Now, a lot of people say LeBron James, even in his prime, he left triple-doubles on the table. Um, so, whether he left them on the table or not, he still left them on the table. He sh should have picked them up. And um, he, did, he just didn't even get them, you know? So with that being said, I'm going to give the edge to, like I just said, LeBron James. He's a much, he's a, he's a better basketball player than Magic Johnson. But it's close and it's more comparable. Legacy-wise, they both get the same amount of accomplishments, as you can see, very similar. Magic Johnson has four finals losses. LeBron James has six. Um, now, LeBron James did left some finals on the table, okay? 2011 and 2014, I believe, are two championships that he could have won if he put his foot on their neck. I think I think he left those championships on the table. I mean, that's just my opinion on it. Um, so that is a hole in your career when you leave a championship on the table and it was capable of you winning, you know? Now, nevertheless, you got to call it 100. You got to be fair with it. He did lose those championships. So, you know, that's times he been to the big stage and he, and he missed out on getting them those championships. It is what it is. It's on your record. It is what it is, you know? Um, so yeah, I'm gonna leave it off with that, man. Um, just doing a quick breakdown of those two guys. Um, I still give the edge to LeBron James by the nose here. Um, some people think Magic is better. Do you think Magic is better? Tell me all about it in the comment section. Uh, we could break it down a little more. Um, but those are some of the stats and quick breakdowns of their accomplishments, what I wanted to do. And also, Magic Johnson leads LeBron in assists. 
But I think when LeBron finishes his career, because he's playing longer, he's going to pass Magic Johnson in total assist. But he's not there yet. You know, Magic Johnson's at 10,000 10, plus. LeBron James is close. He's close. He's 9,000 plus. So anyway, peace. I'm out. Keep it 3,000. One.